My name is Christiane and I work as the sustainability manager for Fjellreven. And one big part of our sustainability program is to carefully select what materials we use in our products. And one of those materials that we have looked into for the past couple of years is wool. We love wool, not only because it's great from a functional perspective, uh, but also because it's a high quality natural material. But whenever we, from a sustainability point of view, look into and dig deep on materials, we look at what risks could be involved with the material and we also look at what opportunities or alternatives we can find. For wool, we actually ended up with four different categories, all serving a different purpose in our Fjellreven wool program. So we have one that we call mulesing free wool, we have one that we call traceable wool, we have one that is re-wool, and one that we call recovered wool. Mulesing free wool is kind of a minimum standard for any virgin wool that we use. That means that whenever we source wool, we want to ensure that there has been non-mulesing taking place in the supply chain. Mulesing is a practice that from an animal welfare perspective is very painful for the animals. You actually cut off parts of the sheep's skin on the backside to avoid a fly strike. And that does not comply with our strict animal welfare criteria. So that's the minimum baseline. But we want to go further. So traceable wool is where we're headed we want to know where the wool that are in our products come from. And that has been a journey that actually started a couple of years ago when we decided to test it locally here in Sweden. So we started a very close cooperation with a Swedish farm to, on a local level, uh, learn everything uh, in the wool supply chain from animal to sweater. Um, and also getting holistic farming, craftsmanship and a strict animal welfare uh, program in place. All the things we learned from the Bratland farm we have then tried to apply to the rest of our global wool supply chain. This has resulted in that we probably have quite a big portion of our wool traceable down to farm level or a group of farms uh, through our partner ZQ Merino. We have two other categories that serve a different purpose and they are all about reusing and taking care of wool as a material. Re-wool is what we call our recycled wool. It is recycled wool from, um, it could be spill from the wool industry or used garments. All our re-wool has been made in the wool region in Italy called Prato and we have expanded our range with rewool quite a lot simply because it's such a good material it would be a shame if it goes to waste the fourth category we called recovered wool and that is a spin on recycling but slightly different it started off as an innovation when we at the office looked into the fact that quite a lot of swedish wool is actually just thrown away so we were able to look at how we could carefully select that surplus wool and add it into products. So we have a backplate on a backpack and we have padding in jackets made from carefully selected surplus Swedish wool. Just another way of making sure that wool as a functional and brilliant material does not go to waste. So as you see, we work with a lot of different wools, hopefully, all our wool that is virgin will be traceable down to farm level so we can make sure that all animal welfare criteria are fulfilled and the rest will continue making sure that we recycle and take care of the wool that's already out there.